four propositions in and I finally get to talk about something not related to spending or voter approval for budgets. California Proposition 54, public display of legislative bills prior to vote. Wikipedia defines technophobia as the fear or dislike of advanced technology or complex devices, especially computers. And I think that the term sums up this initiative perfectly. A yes vote on this basically means a bill has to be in print three days before it is allowed to go into law, or rather, three days prior to the vote on it. Alrighty. So, let's deconstruct this one by one. First of all, I think this indicates a rampant technophobia on the part of voters. The idea that something needs to be on print for three days before voting on it is just silly. Yes, it's true that uh, paper is a little bit more secure than things digitally in the sense that they can't be destroyed as quickly, or at least the information can't be wiped as quickly, but our entire society is dependent upon technology and doing things quickly. This initiative seems to be an attempt to take things back into the past. The idea that the legislature should be obligated to make things available in print for three days before doing anything about it. Doesn't this seem like a recipe for inefficiency and slow, slow, slow lawmaking? Um, what if, furthermore, a legislature needs to uh, do something in a time of crisis? This initiative says that every bill must be published in print online three days before it's voted on. I mean, what if we have to respond to an emergency? Or what if the state of California some feels something needs to be passed urgently? I mean, truly, if something is egregious to the point where people feel it's objectionable that the legislature passed it, we can already gather signatures and put it up for a vote. Not that I think we should do that for everything, mind you, but it is there as an option. There's basically no point to this. What is the point of making our government intentionally more inefficient because we're afraid of what might happen if something isn't available on print for 72 hours before it's made? This is a recipe for disaster, simply because it does not do anything to help improve the process. Its supporters say that it'll improve accountability and transparency, but all public bills are already available freely to anybody who wants them. And furthermore, allowing this to be put in place 72 hours before a vote means that any revisions in the meantime will either have to be updated and the three-day timetable will have to be reset, or people will be working off outdated information once the legislature revives it anyways. It's pointless. There's no reason that we can't simply allow lawmakers to work at their own pace and review things after they've been passed or during the debate period before they're passed. Typically, bills take longer than 72 hours to pass anyways, so this is just a repetitive increase in bureaucracy for no reason. I know I kind of sound like a conservative here, but being a progressive doesn't mean you have to support expanding government for the sake of it. It means you should support expanding government or uh, in introducing new government programs if they help people. This doesn't help anybody. This is just an attempt to turn our legislative process back in time in an age of instant communication. There's no reason whatsoever to support this, so I encourage you not to. Andrew Walker out.